Okay, now I'm gonna demonstrate fitness from your desk. Laverne and I are gonna do some fitness moves from your desk or your workplace that you can do, you know, three or four times a day in the office without leaving your, um, your office space. So the first thing we're gonna do, Laverne, is we're gonna sit with good posture and form in your chair. So when I'm sitting in my chair, my shoulders are back, abs are tight. I'm gonna move back with my feet, screw back a little bit. There we go with my feet. And I can take my right leg, place it over my left, put my ankle right there. I'm gonna take my right hand and I'm gonna put a little bit of pressure. You're gonna feel it stretching. Feel it stretching right there. Feel it stretching right around the hip flexor, growing area. We hold it there for three, two, one. And notice we're still not leaving our chair. Opposite, cross your ankle. My boss is like, oh, Chauncey's still at his chair, so he must be working. Gonna stretch, pulse it a little bit. Three, two, one. Good, now from the chair, I scoot back just a little bit. The posture form, I'm gonna take my arm, I'm gonna bring it around by my back, still in my desk, and I'm gonna stretch out my tricep, stretch, and I'm gonna hold it there for three, two, one, opposite. This will help you leave, leave, relieve stress at the office place. There we go, fingers, there we go, good, good. That's good, we're that good. Three, two, one, good. Now, I'm gonna place my hands over it, good, good. I'm gonna turn a little bit in my chair. Three, two, one, opposite way. Three, two, and one. Good, good. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get up out of the chair. And we're gonna swing our leg nice and easy and control it. One, perfect, Laverne. Two, work in the hips and the hip flexors. Three, opposite leg, because you don't wanna make sure that you don't wanna swing too far and kick your colleague in the office. Two, and three, good. Now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna use the back of my chair to stabilize myself, and we're gonna do some chair squats. Major muscles we're gonna work is hamstring, glute. I'm gonna squat and come back up. Squat, two, there we go. Hamstring, three, glute, four, breathe, five, last one, six, good. Do you have any questions about some of the exercises you can do from your chair? Now, one thing I always make sure when I'm sitting at my desk is that my feet are flat. Good, good. But I, but because, you know, the computers are going on, mm -hmm. I end up like this sometimes. And I don't okay. know what's going on. Hey, remember what I just said. So that's what you want to do. If you have 60 minutes, 40 minutes, every hour, look how long that took. That took us less than three minutes. Mm -hmm. The first thing I said was, posture and form. Because when we're at our computer at our workstations, we slowly start here, but we wind up here. here. We wind up here. So we have to remind ourselves to come back to here. So every hour on the hour, every 30 minutes, you could take 30 seconds, 20 seconds out just to do what we just did. First, I come back, work on my posture and form, shoulders back, abs are tight. Then, believe it or not, you can work your abdominal area from your chair too. Scoot back a little bit. Squeeze my abs and I twist. One, there you go, feel it. Two, suck it in. Three, four, five, six. Also, to release some of the stress from the lat, I call hand your package back. One, over the shoulder. Two, stretching out. Three, four, stretching the lat in the back. Five, Six, and then I go the opposite way. One, there we go. Two, three, deep breath. Four, five, six. And neck and face. For some of us, we remember that old exercise guru, Jack LaLanne. Mm -hmm. The most important muscle that he worked on was the facial muscle. Why? Because that was the muscle we used to smile and greet people with. So what I tell you, when you sit in your chair, move your facial muscles around, move it around, there you go, good. And then just do a big smile. Take a big smile, there we go. Move your neck around, don't hyperextend it. Move it to the right, two or three times. Move it to the left, and then you screw back to your workstation. Place your hands on your keyboard, and continue to work. 